Alright guys, welcome back to more Pet 6 Master League. Today we're at home. It's Manchester United. Yet again, it feels like we've played them so many times this season. And we have. This is the fourth time we're playing them. We've played them away in the league. We've played them home and away in the Champions League. And we're playing them at home today. So hopefully... Um, are they still in the cup? I think they are, aren't they? So I hope that we don't get them in the cup. <laughs> but, yeah. And... I, I'm trying to remember now where they are in the in the in the cup. Are they on the same side as us in the tournament? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. That's not uh, about today, though. That's uh, for next week when we play Rangers in that uh, second leg of the quarterfinals. But today, Martins is making his debut for the club. A lot of speculation for a very long time that he would join us and we'd go after. We've been after him for well, we've we've gone after him uh, quite a few times in the past. And he's finally making his full debut for the club today. We finally acquired him. So uh, let's get out there and do so. And that is a perfect start because Walcott has put us one up already. That is insane. I thought it was Mutu there for a second. I, I can't believe they've let us have that one. That was so simple. Chu Young on the right-hand side of the midfield whips it in over to the... Uh, well, into the middle of the box where Walcott was waiting, who's on high form today. And uh, that is 1-0. Walcott is on the um, uh, left-hand side of the midfield. So, yeah. And he scored with his head, which is a bit um, odd, to be honest, because he doesn't normally... Ooh, that was close. Uh, he doesn't normally uh, score with his head. I think it's like the first time he's ever scored with his head for us. Because normally he just like... Well, he just solo... He likes to solo everything, basically. <laughs> That's what he likes to do. But yeah. And here's uh, Chu Young, who goes for a cross in there. That was pretty bad. Oh, well. Shimizu attacking midfield. We've got uh, Puelo, uh, DMF, alongside uh, Mbami. Uh, Mafio is on international duty, so he's not about. And who was the other one? There was another guy... And at the back, we've got Company, who's on good form. Piccolo's now left us, of course. Um, we have got uh, Skettle and Gomzi in there, and Karini in goal. So, um, I would say what we've probably got out now is our strongest team. Maybe. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if maybe Tevez would fit into the strongest team or not now. Mm, debatable, because Martins' speed is so good. I don't know. I, the, the thing about like having Martins now, and... Um, like, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Tevez is like, uh, it, it's debatable. Oh, that's a good save. Oh, it's come back. Ah, oh, never mind. Um, it's debatable, like, which one of them goes up front, but at least we can rotate those two around up front so we're not just completely switching uh, between multiple different like, players constantly, I suppose. So that's probably how it's going to work. And, um, uh, you know, here's Walcott! Oh, he's hit the bar! That's unbelievable! That was such a good effort by Walcott. That is a shame it didn't fly into the uh, top corner of the net. Um, that would have been a that would be a second goal of the night. That would have been insane. Um, but, yeah. Because uh, we got Mutu. We got De Santos, who sometimes can play at the back. We've got the regen, Andy Cole, who didn't do half bad. And Martins! First goal for the club! Oh, well, it's on now, isn't it? It is on now. Debut, first goal. Get in there. How about that? That's why we signed him, because we knew his speed is very good, and he can pull away from defenders and give us a good opportunity to score. He's still at, playing at Newcastle. Um, you know, up till halfway point of this season. And uh, Newcastle were relegated last season, so it's kind of... Strange that is in real life, it'd be kind of strange that he's still there, you know. What I mean, like, you wouldn't think of a player playing in the championship of his ability, kind of thing, but yeah, that's just the way it has gone. Here's Shimizu, but yeah, we've also got Aguero as well, so probably Aguero, Tevez, Martins, and Mutu will probably rotate up front. Which is probably what, which is what I'm thinking. So, yeah, Bon hall has gone now. I mean, Chu Young could play up front if, if for backup if we need him. He, he, I like to play him on the right-hand side of midfield, though, because I think he's really good there, even though he's not really meant to play there. 
but yeah, he's always never done me wrong on that side of the midfield, I don't believe. So yeah, here is Martins again. He was trying to get around Ferdinand, who uh, made the right tackle. And uh, Mutu. Uh, oh, well, that was kind of bad, that one. Here's Puello to uh, get it right for us. Goes over the top to Mutu there. Doesn't work out, unfortunately. And here's Smith on a run, and company is in there. Good tackle. And here's Mutu. It's Mutu. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, Mutu. That is unbelievable. Should have taken the shot right there, really, shouldn't he, instead of trying to be clever. That is unbelievable. That really is unbelievable, that one. That should have been free. Here's Martins again. And Martins are still going. Ah, he doesn't get his pass through to Shimizu, unfortunately. Here's Ronaldo. Rooney. And that's over the top. And Carini's got to get to there. And he does. That's very nicely uh, done by Carini, just in time. Silvestre, Smith yet again, he's probably going to go wide here, oh no, that's uh, ended up in totally the wrong direction there. Here's Skertle. Here's Martins, goes wide to Chu Young, that's very good, here's Chu Young. Oh! Not going to make it to uh, Mutu. Here's uh, Park again. Here's De La Cruz. Skulls. Genus here. Tries to go forward to Smith. That is not going to work out because Carini is always going to be alert to that one. It was way too far forward. Here is uh, Chu Young. It's Puello. It's Mbami. Mutu. Walcott. Back to Mutu. Mutu's shot is way wide although it has put uh, Puello in here so it's not too bad goes back into the middle tries to find Mutu again can't quite do that back out of play and half time is here good half that one cannot complain about it So the, uh, the second half is off and also another thing that I do like to do in this series is play to like real world rules so that like if you buy a player in the halfway through window, winter window, January window, whatever you call it, um, basically you have to cup tie a player that's already played in a competition. So for example, um, Fabregas in this case who we've just acquired from Arsenal he's more than likely played in the uh, in the cup games so we're going to cup time for those ones and stuff like that so that's a, that's just like a general rule that I always have like I always cup tie uh, players because um, I just I just think it's better to do that just better to do that so yeah oh and that's uh, taken away that is a foul Hopefully, yeah. Well, well, I really want Walcott to get more game time, though. Like, since he's joined us, he's been really good. But, like, not to the point where he scores a lot, though. If that makes sense. Here's Shimizu. Oh. Uh, it's Martins. Martins is going to fire up the shot and hit the bar. <laughs> that is insane. I really think he... Um could have scored that to be honest I, I was almost thinking Shimizu should have just took the shot on there when he had the chance but oh well here's Park Skulls Smith into the box and not cleared quite oh that was risky into the box again and this time cleared Nice um, reception from the crowd for that one. And here's Chu Young. And here's Martins. Oh, 
unlucky with that one. There was a there was a good counter maybe going there, but didn't happen. But here is Shimizu once more. This could be something because here's Walcott and here's Mutu and. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway because Martins was offside. I was going to say, how did Martins miss that? That was insane. They're not even back in position yet as that goal kick was taken. And uh, here's Hines. He's miscontrolled the ball there. Love Martins' speed. You know what I mean? I wish we'd signed him earlier. He's that good. <laughs> We've got him now, so we can't complain now. Uh, Giggs is coming on for De La Cruz now, so they're changing things up. And Mutu puts in Martins. This has got to be a goal, surely. It's Martins. It's Martins. Oh, he didn't take it round the keeper. That is unbelievable. You'd think with his pace he would have managed that. And here's Walcott, though, waiting for the run of Martins again. Ah, it's not going to happen, though. Should have been. Should have been free, that. Here's Mutu there. Oh, Mutu. Mutu's done well. Mutu makes it free there. No mistake about that one. Round that defender, and then he's just one on one and buries it. United are second in the table. They might have fallen today after this result, who knows. And we're uh, back off yet again. We're going to make three changes in a moment. Martins is going to be the ones to come off today because I think he's done really well. And uh, he deserves a rest now. So, yeah, here he is. And he's going to put Mutu back in. Mutu, and not Mutu can't get round him. Who they got? So Solomar in goal. Okay, I don't think I've really ever heard of him, but he is uh, he's, he's vigilant. <laughs> he's vi he is vigilant, put it that way. Nothing really phases him that much. Here's Martins, though. Yet again, it's Martins. Oh, he couldn't pick Mutu out. This is a deadly combination up front, though, if you ask me. Martins and Mutu, the double M. The M, M and M's, guys. M and M. Up front, you gotta love it. Tevez is on now, though. Let's see if Tevez can deal any damage at all. Uh, Abina's come on for Chu Young as well. That's another one. And the other one was Fabregas has come on for Shimizu. So that's uh, today's deeds. That could have been a goal and probably should have been. Karini gets it away, and the uh, danger is averted for now. And Walcott will get there first. Here's Gomzi. Oh, this is <laughs> this is a bit rough and tumble. Everything's all over the place. And that is just gonna go out, is it? Oh, maybe not. And oh, Karini, <laughs> Karini nearly puts it into his own net, holding the ball, which is insane. That would have been very strange had that happen. Here's Mutu. Here's Walcott. It's Walcott. He goes for a shot, and it's out of play for a corner. Fabregas is on. He's going to take this one into the box there. And here's Ronaldo. One minute added on. And that is the game there. Not bad at all. We played so well in that one from the second minute when Walcott put one in. I think we could we could have easily had more. We could have had about five or six, but three will do. So the man of the match was Mutu today. It was either going to be Mutu or Martins for me, I think. I think Walcott was definitely up there, though. He was close. Um, I think if I had to pick overall... I don't know, I think I like I'd give it to all three of them, to be honest. I can't really decide which of who was my favourite up front today. I thought I thought maybe Martins was a little bit better than Mutu at times. Like if he'd got another goal, Martins, he would have snatched it, I reckon, but uh Mutu's got it, I guess. Uh, for me, I think maybe a mixture of all three, possibly. 
Though I, did, I think I did rate Martins a little bit more than Mutu, although Mutu did get better towards the end, so it's a little bit debatable. Um, Puello, I didn't see him at all today. <laughs> in fact, in Bami either, I don't think I saw him much today. thought the defence played well. Gomzi was really good at the back. Carini was alert as always. And... Um, yeah, uh, Chu Young was played really good today as well, so I was very impressed and happy with that. Good start to the new year. So, fixture 16 results, second half of the uh, season, league season, has kicked off now. To start off, Celtic have drawn 1-1 at Fulham. Not a bad result, they're trying to get as many points as they can, Celtic, to stay up. Uh, Blackburn have won at home 3-0 against Wigan. Arsenal have lost at West Ham 2-0. Tottenham have won at home 3-2 against Middlesbrough. Chelsea have won at Anfield 2-0 against Liverpool. Aston Villa have won at home against Everton 2-1. And Rangers lost 3-2 against Bolton that's pretty unlucky for Rangers that one because uh, like I say they are bottom at the moment but uh, Bolton pipped them to it in that game just by the one goal so this is the uh, league table uh, Manchester United are going to remain at second uh, because Liverpool lost at home to Chelsea if Liverpool won that game then they would have gone to 31 points and head up to second but didn't happen in the end Chelsea are up to third though based on the goal difference they're in 28 points uh, West Ham they're on uh, 26 points up to fifth now, having a decent season. In fact, it was uh, Arsenal that they beat, wasn't it? So very good for West Ham into fifth there. Fulham have moved up as well. They're uh, on 23. They drew, though, didn't they, to Celtic? So if they won that game, they would have actually moved ahead of Arsenal into European spot there. Arsenal just still clinging to it at this moment in time. Middlesbrough not a million light years off it, though. They um, are down to eighth, but still... It's decent. They're uh, only a couple of points off a European spot. And they're only three points off West Ham at this point. So, yeah. Even Bolton are chasing it now. They won against Rangers today 3-2. They're on 23 points as well. And, uh, yeah, Celtic are 10th now on 18 points. They are set to stay up. They've got to stay up, surely. Everton are down to 11th. Tottenham up to 12th on 17 points. Uh, Aston Villa... They're up to uh, 13th, I think they beat Everton today, didn't they? Wigan down to 14th, and uh, finally Blackburn, um, 13 points. Uh, in 15th position, Rangers on 8 points, still bottom. In fact, they need double the amount of points they've got, Rangers, at this point, to uh, even get out of relegation. And then some, and then some. So it's the quarter-final second leg of the uh, Cup coming up next. And Manchester United, they're at home to Everton. They're not on the same side as us on the tournament table, so we can't draw them in the next one. We can either get Fulham or Liverpool. So, yeah, I couldn't remember if they was, they was on our side. We can't draw them in the semi-finals, but we can get either Fulham or Liverpool if we do get through. Um, Fulham have got the two away goals that they took in that first leg. So Fulham have got a decent opportunity, a decent chance. They're not having a bad season either. They're up to, what was it, 6th uh, or 7th, something like that in the league. Um, not doing bad, so yeah. Chelsea took a 2-1 lead against Celtic. Celtic would only need the one goal, though, to win that game. If they won 1-0 Celtic, they would go through because of the away goal they, that they've got. Uh, we took three away goals at Rangers last time, but they did get two goals, so... It's the job is not done yet. We need to play a solid team and just get through this one because Rangers they were a bit scary in that game. They were a bit scary, and even though they are bottom of the league, they're still looking pretty mean in front of goal and whatnot. I think they still they do still cause a lot of danger. So yeah, this should be pretty interesting next time, guys. So please do comment, subscribe, and share as always, and join us for the Rangers game next time and see what happens and see what the semi-finals will bring all the teams hopefully we will make it that far though see you then guys take care